I also have seen a few comments of would I date a Jamaican man? <laughs> um, look. How do I answer this question? Thank you. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, let me show you what I've got. All right, so I have come to a place called Rasta Aid Refreshments up on Seven Mile Beach. And then I got their like veggie platter and this looks so good. So you've got um, Aki, um, Kolaloo, I think like just mixed veggies, um, like maybe like a bean stew, rice and peas. There's like a little bit of bami um, and like here, that's a little bit of bami. I'm not too sure what that is in the middle, but I can always see. And then I got like a, a juice. Um, it's got like papaya, um, mango and stuff like that. Anyway, I thought I would do like a, um, ish, maybe I need to put my wide lens on. Give me a second. Okay, so, 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 <laughs> welcome back. I thought I would do like another sit down talking video while I get some food. Um, I enjoyed doing the last one and I thought it was really fun because like your girl likes to eat <laughs> and talk shit, so. Um, I've been seeing like the comments on my last one. So I thought I'd just sit down and have like another little chatty chatty video um maybe that way you guys can get to know me a little bit more plus i've been like this whole process um i guess at the start so i've been here for like three weeks now and at the start when i got to mo bay um like i met a lot of people in the hostel which was really nice um but now like everyone that like i met has kind of left and you know like I enjoy being in my own company and it's something that like I need for my own, like to re-energize, like being in my own space. But sometimes like solo traveling does get lonely. Um, so yeah, I've had a bit of a rough day. So I thought I'd treat myself, come get some food. Um, and then yeah, chat, chat into this camera to you guys to feel a little less lonely. All right, I don't actually know what this middle thing is but it tastes really good okay so there's a few things that i wanted to talk about or that i had on my agenda to, agenda to talk about today um first one being i just wanted to say thank you for all the love and support that you guys have been giving me I really, really appreciate all the love and I feel super grateful and blessed. Um, yeah, so like I, I can't even express into words like how grateful, grateful I am. And I am really enjoying making content here in Jamaica. Um, and I guess like, yeah, like I said in my other video, I guess not everyone sees like the vision or where I'm coming from but you know for those that commented saying like screw those people and don't listen to them I really appreciate that too because like I know that in the back of my head but it's I guess it's nice to hear um, hear that you guys uh, appreciate my videos and my content and stuff like that um, so firstly, I wanted to like talk about 
I saw like a comment and I'm not too sure if they're like a local Jamaican or anything, but it was um, to do with the water protests. Um, my video that I posted the other day about exposing Jamaica's corrupt tourism and like a lot of people, oh no, I'm not going to say a lot, like a few people had an issue with the, the title of the video because they're like saying that I'm like generalizing Jamaica's tourism industry of being corrupt and I also find that funny because I think that like people take like a lot of things personally a thumbnail for a YouTube video is supposed to be a bit you know um, what's the word controversial um, because that's how you get people to click on your video um, and I'm not so, I don't know I'm not saying like I'm not I don't like to generalize but like obviously yeah some people took offense um, but that is just kind of like the name of the game you need to make your YouTube video uh, YouTube titles kind of controversial or like something that like stands out that's going to get the attention and like I do that because I want people to watch because there's a message in the video if that makes sense like there is no ill intent behind that so and then I also saw someone comment saying that the protest saying that I should like um, research more and like know my history more or before I just go down to local um, protests um, not knowing like the background in like the ghettos or something like that and she was saying that like these things happen in the ghettos and one I was not in the ghetto I was literally two minutes out from the grill's main city center like two minutes out from the grill's main city center no one was in the ghetto and i don't even know if they have ghettos in the grill do they <laughs> um and then she was like talking about how you know these people are uneducated and and most people are like in corporate jobs and i'm not too sure how that had anything to do with it but it also made me mad because not everyone is has the opportunity or is privileged enough to be well educated and a lot of people say that it might come down to like laziness um, laziness or whatever but there are, I think that Jamaica has, or what I'm noticing, especially the people that I'm interacting with and meeting, Jamaica does have a lot of generational suffering. And there's a lot of people here that grow up with a lot of trauma, a lot of broken homes. And it's easy for people who have come from a privileged upbringing or background to look down on people um, who maybe can't read, who can't write, who didn't get well educated and put them into a box of, okay, well, they were just lazy, they had the opportunity and they couldn't go because I feel like that is a very, very, like, like a, a very privileged point of view. Um, to have because not everyone has that opportunity and um, some people did not grow up with a mum and dad that pushed them to go to school some people did not grow up with a mum or dad at all really um, and really just had to like work it out for themselves and in saying that with this generational trauma that I'm noticing that comes, obviously comes with a lot of like mental health issues. So maybe some people are not mentally and physically able to get them, we're not able to get themselves to school to be well educated. So for people um, or for someone to say that, you know, 
it's because like these people are uneducated they don't know what they're they're standing for i have seen people like regular people in the suburbs here not being able to get water on the line because i i i don't even know why to be honest because there's no water in in on the line they're having to buy trucks get water delivered to their house something that is like you know a basic basic necessity and that's not i'm not in the ghetto <laughs> i'm in the suburbs um and it's not something that like I've, I've i've just heard about it's something that i've seen um and it's been going on for a while now and it absolutely just blows my mind because in jamaica there's literally natural mineral springs that form from the ground naturally that endlessly produce abundance of water so that honestly just like blows my mind how local citizens of jamaica are not being able to receive water having to i mean i'm not too sure like obviously you pay for water you'd have water bills anyway so i'm not too sure what the discrepancy is between having to buy truckloads of water and then paying your water bill but I, you know i guess it's just like the inconvenience as well so if anyone knows what the difference is i'd be really interested to know like what you normally pay for a water bill and what um you pay to get the like the tanks of water delivered to your house and how long they normally last for that you have an island that has an abundance of free water that just pops up from the ground in natural mineral springs and yet people are not getting water to their like on the line to their houses i guess that's just like a reflection of the government here not supporting their locals or putting in the infrastructure to be able to support that um and i don't know whether that's like a lack of money from the government's end um or or what um i was actually having a conversation with one of my friends who i met in montego bay i do have to do my research on this um and i'm going to have to read more into it um but something to do with the bauxite that um is exported out from Jamaica so from my knowledge it is a aluminum like it's a element that is found in Jamaica i think i'm not 100% sure this is just what i know so far but i'm i'm going to do my research on it um it is used to make aluminum correct me if i'm wrong please um but yeah that is exported out of from Jamaica from the Chinese or the Russians but I'm pretty sure the Chinese um because they made like a deal with the government um to export that I think it's used like heavily in um the manufacturing of cars and vehicles and stuff like that So my question was like why don't Jamaicans exploit this for themselves and do that for themselves rather than having other people such as the Chinese come in to literally take advantage of them and exploit them. And talking to a few of the locals, what I've gathered is Jamaica just doesn't have like the the equipment or the the knowledge on how to extract it properly or because cars and that are not manufactured here. Like I said, it's something that I'm going to have to research, but I was talking with my friend today and he said, you know, Jamaica could be such a rich and wealthy country, yet the government just sells out um and allows other countries to exploit it. But it's definitely something that um I do want to do more research on and dig into further into my videos. So stay tuned. If anyone has an opinion on it, please let me know cuz I would be really interested to hear different point of views. Um Hey. This bummy is good. <laughs> And it looks like it's about to start to rain. 
but let me try the color. Mm-hmm. That's really good. I rate that. I do rate the rice and peas, but I've rated it. I've had better rice and peas, like at different places, but it's still good. A bammy's good. Let me try the lentils. Mm-hmm. That's really good too. Also, it's starting to rain. So I might have to move. Um I <laughs> saw someone's comment in my previous question and answer on mukbang um, and they wanted to know what patwa I know <laughs> I feel like I'm learning more and more the longer that I'm here um, I recently just learned we are depon we are depon <laughs> so that means what's going on or I'm pretty sure yeah it means what's going on or what are you up to or what are you doing um, so and then I know you can like, you just answer with what you're doing. You can say Medea, which means I'm here. I obviously know Wagwan, um, and I know Midea here, the answer to that. Um, I learned Y Pre the other day, I learned Y Pre, which also means, I think it means like what's up. Um, and then someone told me that I can answer, like, answer to Y Pre with outside or brawling, brawling. <laughs> so that's something that I'm going to use um, uh, what else do I know I know why you look pummy for why you look pummy for <laughs> um, I know where I go where I go that means where you're going where I go oh, and why you look pummy for is like why you're looking at me I also learned last, the first time I was here, I learned, uh, nah, bother me, left me a bomba cla alone. <laughs> so I use that if like people, like obviously people talk to me on the streets, but if they're kind of like being a bit like persistent, then I'll say that. <laughs> not not with the bomba cla or a fuck you, I'll just say, nah, bother me, left me alone. Um, I know, little more, which means, um, bye, or see you later. Um, what else do I know? I know a few things, but I'm learning. I feel like I can understand it more. I feel like it's like there's levels to Patwa. Like, sometimes locals would just talk with a Jamaican accent. I don't, like, I don't know if that's still like Patwa, and that's easy for me to understand because it's just like English. Um, but I think that literally, like, full, like, when Jamaicans talk in, like, patwa, full patwa, that should be its own language, because I cannot understand any of it. Like, I know that patwa is, so pa for those of you who don't know, or who aren't Jamaican, or, or who um, don't know much about Jamaica, patwa is, I think, a dialect of English. Um, but that shit should be a language, because, you know, respect. Respect for people who can speak Patwa. Um, because it's hard to understand. Um, but yeah. If you have any more terms that you think I should know, let me know in the comments. Because I'm learning more and more. And sorry if my <laughs> pronunciation, pronunciation was bad. <laughs> Okay, um, but yeah, so I'm currently still in the grill, taking my time to reset. Um, I also wanted to touch on like, I did have, hold on, I'm gonna move under this umbrella because it is raining a little bit. Give me one second. So I've just moved because it was raining a little bit. Um, so, I also wanted to talk about, um,
what I want to talk about. Okay, that bad means good. I don't know what this is. This is like a fried, I think it's fried, fried plantain. I'm not too sure. Okay, it's definitely not fried plantain. I oh, know. It's a fried wheat, wheat fritter. I remember. It was on the menu. Um, I also had someone ask if I was going to be posting my... I uploaded a short with the police officers from Tivoli Gardens. Um, but I didn't post the full like interview or anything like that. But I had someone ask if I was going to be posting the full interview. And I haven't decided what I'm going to do with my content from Kingston because I am going to go back to Kingston and film more content. So maybe just hang tight for like what I decide to post about Kingston. I did find the interview with the police officers really interesting. So maybe I might just post it as like a standalone, a standalone video and just give it like an introduction and give it a bit of context. I also... <laughs> I wanted to... I also have seen a few comments of would I date a Jamaican man? <laughs> um, look. How do I answer this question? Of course, I would, obviously. Like, I do not have any, like, prejudices or preferences or I'm kind of just someone who, like, goes off vibes, energy, and I just like who I like, if that makes sense. So for me, it's not about, like, race, ethnicity. Um, um, but just in my own personal experience, and I do not want to generalize here, but <laughs> how do I say this? <laughs> how do I put this? All right, I need to choose my words very carefully here. Um, I'm going to talk about my personal experience. And the Jamaican men that I have interacted with. Y'all play too much. Y'all play. <laughs> and for me, like I've also seen a few comments saying like, oh, 27, you need to like settle down and have kids because your value as a woman is going to like decrease. Boy. <laughs> Do you know who you're talking to? I am right now living my life not ready for kids yet um definitely not and i feel like that is just like bullshit i don't have any problems being like 30 and having kids because having kids is something that i do not want to rush and for me and i feel like for me Choosing like the father of my children is something that I do not take lightly Because for me it I want it to be a lifetime thing and not like Yeah, for me it is a very 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 big thing because that's I feel like that's the most one of the most important decisions that you can ever make like who is going to be you know the the mother or the father of your kids um, and it's not something that I just want to be like, okay, yeah, you look like a good fit, like, or anything like that. Um, so I have no problems in, like, waiting, um, taking my time to choose wisely. Because I do not want to... I want... I have done a lot of work on healing myself. 
um, a lot of childhood like stuff and I'm looking for someone like to obviously who's on a similar vibe because I don't want to pass down generational trauma to my kids um, so I'm going to say current like obviously currently I'm just vibing by myself um, not really looking to date um, but in terms of like someone asking would I j date a Jamaican man of course I would um, but in my personal experience I feel like the culture and obviously I don't want to generalize but this is kind of what like I've noticed so feel free um, to share like your own personal experiences but yeah in my opinion there's like a culture um, in like for like Jamaican men um, who are born and raised here that um, maybe they don't like to stick to one partner and I'm sorry if that's like offensive or I'm wrong and like obviously I don't want to generalize but um, yeah like I'm really once once I find like once I do not trust you that like it was kind of like done for me like as soon as the trust is lost I'm out because um, trust for me is very 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 important so yeah, maybe one thing that I've noticed while being here is Jamaican guys like to have a little bit of fun and um, I'm not really looking for someone who's like a player or anything like that, so. <laughs> but um, I mean, defend yourself in the comments if <laughs> I'm wrong. But that's just my own personal experience and I'm not I'm the type of person who I'm not going to break my back trying to... I don't want to change anyone. Like, I allow people to let, be, let them... I allow people to be who they are. And I decide if I, you know, want to be a part of that or if I want them in my life or not. So I don't... Yeah, I'm not, like, out here breaking my back trying to change someone. It is what it is. We move. Um, but in saying that... <laughs> Even though I do think Jamaican men play too much, <laughs> I do think that they're like really loving, lovely, and like very like smart and like hands on and like do things as in like they can fix things and I don't know, like manly men. Um, but yeah, all right, I'm gonna shut up about that topic now. <laughs> I'm gonna finish this off. Don't come for me in the comments, Jamaican men. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not a hater. Um, that was just my own experience. All right. Love, 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 blessings and respect. I'm going to finish this off and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. All right, so I just wanted to show you guys the vibes of Rasta Aid. It is kilt. Um, you've got like a sitting area here and there you come order. Where the pond? Yeah. <laughs> wow, go on. <laughs> um, so they also have like little like tonics here. This is like a bitter type thing. I've tried I I bought one the other week and Look, the taste is not great, but it's not supposed to be great. It's supposed to be bitter um, to like cleanse your blood and stuff like that. So yeah, it's cute. All right, bye for now.